Jason. Hi, Jason. How are you, Bernard? Hello. Hi. Okay, thank you. Looks good. Um, congratulations, I think, uh, again. <laughs> um, thank how, you. How does, you how does it feel um, to be at uh, album three of Electronic? Did you ever think it was going to gonna uh, see three albums? Uh, I never, I never want to look at the future. Really, I just sort of think about the present. Um, I'm not, I'm not one of those great planners. I just um, do whatever I feel like doing at any given moment, really. And um, so I felt like doing another one. Yeah, um, but it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Um, we did it very quick. This one, we, um, I think the last one took too long, and we. Actually, to record and mix this album was done in three months, which is uh, which is pretty fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I mean, um, I think you know you you've been asked out of the the limelight, as it were, for for quite some time. Um, and uh, in the last couple of months, we've read so much about um, about what uh, well between New Order and um, electronic and uh, all the other bits that go with it um, all of a sudden you're back with the bang um, yeah well that's the way that goes isn't it really <laughs> um, I'm going mad in here can you give me a bit of peace and quiet in here please sorry I'm getting disturbed in here um, yeah well I got back with New Order and done some gigs over um, wait we shut that door please um, I got back with New Order, did some gigs, um, which is a very pleasant experience, you know. But on a personal level, it was a good experience, and also on a level of being a musician, it was a good experience because the gigs went exceedingly well. Um, and actually, before Christmas, I was, well, towards this album was actually finished, I think, in September. So, um, during that month before, I was rehearsing with New Order a couple, a couple of days a week and then working on this album for three days a week. And then I have also done a track with the Chemical Brothers yes. that's going out on their new album and played on um, Primal Screams new album. So I've, it's been a kind of whirlwind of activity, really. Um, I've been extremely busy. Um, but, um, um, the thing you know I'm really interested in now is this electronic album because I'm, you know we're both really really pleased with the way it's come out and um, yeah because it's uh, just, uh, as I say sorry to interrupt you but um, obviously all the um, all the experiences that that, that um, happened between the, the last album and uh, and Twisted Tenderness um, it certainly sounds like it from a you know from a musical point of view that um, that both you and Johnny have been uh, obviously been very close to what's been happening around you in the sense that you've incorporated um, it's a it's a it's almost a for lack of a better word a very intense very in your face um, sound yeah well we wanted to change the sound um, to change our sound um, just so you can't go carry on making the same kind of music for the rest of your life and the music is a, an evolving changing beast and um, Realise that to survive and keep your head above water, you've got to change. And if you don't change, then you'll be crushed by progress, <laughs> so to speak. Um, also, we felt that Johnny, you know, in, in the past criticism has been made that there wasn't enough guitar on the record, although if you do listen to the first album and the second album, there is a lot of guitar on it, but perhaps it's not pushed to the forefront as much as it is on this album. So you've got to listen to what people say, really. You've got to listen to what people say. And also, Johnny's a great guitarist, so we were kind of ignoring his talent, really, not to um, not to use him more. Um, yeah, and I think I think also when um, after when we first started working together, Johnny had, had done so much guitar-based music with Smiths that he was eager to get his hands on other instruments, you know, yeah. and like synthesizers and samplers, and um, you know, explore avenues that he couldn't do within the Smiths. Now I think he's, he's kind of got that out of his system and has, has, has fallen in love with the guitar again, 
you know, which really is his prime instrument. But um, we, we, in a way, I mean, it's a funny thing because in a way we're we're very open-minded about music, and sometimes the general public and journalists are less open-minded than 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 musicians are. Mm. So we can go too far in a direction that people, you know, don't sort of dig really. Mm-hmm. And you've got to listen to what people say because at the end of the day, you want people to buy your records and uh, to get into what you know to get into your music. Otherwise, you're not you know speaking to anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I mean, I think just from Johnny's point of view and say also from yours, um, the the music of electronic and I mean I'm. I, I could be wrong here. Is, is by comparison to to that of New Order, and I mean even going further back than that, you uh, vocally are, um, are are sounding more more melodic um, on on that which you do with electronic. Is that purely the way the songs panned out, or was that uh, because uh, you know um, you mean vocally? Yes. Yeah. Um. I think that's just experience becoming a more experienced vocalist because when I first started singing, see, I never ever wanted to be a singer. I never, it never crossed my mind that one day I would become a singer. Never ever. Um, I wanted to be uh, to play guitar and to write music, but not vocals. So I kind of, when Ian Curtis died, it was kind of dropped in at the deep end, very much so. And it was either sink or swim, you know. Um, so I had to learn how to swim really um, unfortunately I had to do that in public sure. so I can I can sing very sort of unselfconsciously now and I quite I enjoy singing now mm. and whereas at the start it was something that I found a bit alien to my nature really sure. um, you know but not anymore I, I enjoy it now I think that's just you know, if there, is, if there is more melody there, it's just a sign of my uh, personal progress, really. Mm-hmm. You know, as, as a singer, mm-hmm. you know, you get better at things, basically. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if there's one thing yeah. that can be said um, said for you, Bernard, is that um, um, I think when it, when everybody expects uh, things to end, um, I think you know, obviously with New Order, and um, obviously when when uh, when, when Ian uh, passed away, um, it was a case of yeah. it's all over. And then New Order happened, and it was it was great. And then it was over to the point that everybody thought that was the last that we would see. Then, yeah, between that ele- electronic came around to the point that you've now got um, both of those entities back and running. That's right. Yeah. Um, we well, got to do something in life. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, there isn't there was no alternative in all those situations you just mentioned or other than to carry on I mean even though I'm working with New Order again I really enjoy working with Johnny and I admire him very much as a musician and um, um, I'm no good at anything else basically <laughs> you know that's the that's the honest answer there's no alternative and um, also you know I think that's part of the thing with New Order part of the reason we got back together. Apart, the main reason I must say is that we was on a friendship level. Yeah. Was that we'd been through so much that it seemed um, a tragic thing that we'd um, we'd fallen fallen out with each other, you know, and broken up because we actually still really did like each other. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't one of these. It was a slightly acrimonious split, but we didn't hate each other's guts yeah. to the point where we were hiring hitmen out. You know, <laughs> which, <laughs> which uh, happened. <laughs> well, uh, well, that does happen with a lot of bands. You know, when you order, there was a, there was a personal relationship to that. Yeah. But the, the the other main thing was was that we had we'd written this great body of work, these these great songs. Well, I think they're great anyway. And, and we were never going to be able to play him again. Now, I've been that through once, through that situation once in my career, after Ian died with Joy Division. We said, well, we can't play the Joy Division songs anymore yeah. because we need to make a name for ourselves under our own steam, so to speak. So I've been through that once and to go through it again, where basically your life's work, you couldn't touch your own work. Um, that was a kind of double tragedy, really. So 
you know, and uh, I wanted to play those songs again. You know, I really wanted to play those songs again. And unfortunately, you know, life's pretty strange. Um, I think that if we had, if no order hadn't of, um, we all thought we'd never get back together again. Yeah. No, if if we'd have just took two years or four years off and gone, let's have a holiday, let's have just have a break from each other. Yeah. I don't think any of the bitterness that was there would have would have gone. It would have still been there at the back of our minds. But the fact that we thought, you know, we were never going to see each other again, kind of um, cleared the air, so to speak, and um, made you really reevaluate what was good about New Order and Joy Division and Electronic as well. Mm, sure. You know. sure. Because I mean, because the two different the two differences between the two groups. Is that new order, everything you do in New Order is inevitably a compromise because it's a, it's a very democratic group. Yes. And, um, you know, you have to keep everybody happy. So therefore, you always have to compromise. With me and Johnny, you know, I could write one song entirely on my own and go, Johnny, look, I don't need to, I, want, I like this the way it is. Yeah. I don't need to play on it. And he'd be cool about that, you know, and vice versa. Um, we knew all of that. You couldn't really do that, mm, true. really. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. the other band members would get upset, yeah. which you can understand. You know, I'm not um, having a go at them. Mm. Um, so there's a valid reason f f for being in both groups, really. Mm. Um, yeah. But I, but I think you're in a bit of a precarious position because uh, um, I personally believe that um, on the electronic um, side of things, this is going to be an album that is going to explode. Um, to the yeah. You could be incredibly busy, you know, for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the end, of, the end of last year got too busy for me. I would not let like that happen again. Well, New Order know that New Order that I'm working on electronic now, and they don't expect me to do anything until midsummer at least. And then when I do start working with New Order again, we're going to start writing stuff for a new album. But it'll only at the start it will only be like one day a week. We'll get together one day a week, go through the set in the morning, and then in the afternoon try and write something. But it'll be a slow start because they're all aware that I'm working with electronic. And indeed, Steve and Gillian are working on um, their solo stuff with the other two. Hockey's working on a new album. He's in the studio at the moment with Monaco, working on his stuff. So everyone's busy doing um, their own projects, you know. Uh, I, although I hate the term project. Everyone's busy with their other groups. Yeah. For the, at least the first half of this year. Um, yeah. So, because I mean, I think between the between the histories that everybody has and, and between the schedules that you have, um, I think it's admirable that you you know, um, can do what you, you know, to be able to, sh to do as much as, uh, as you are, because it's, it just shows how, um, I think just how uh, dynamic um, you and, uh, you know, obviously Johnny are as well, um, in creating the kind of music you do. Yeah, well, you know, we like to keep busy, and uh, music's our thing, you know, there's, like I say, there's nothing else in the world for us, really, so we spend all our time making music, Johnny's in fact probably more busy than I am, you know, because he's constantly, constantly in the studio. I wouldn't say he loves being in the studio, but he always, you know, finds himself in the studio constantly. Whereas I tend to get sick of it after a bit, and, you know, I think it's a very important thing to get out and take your music to people, and, um, that's what I mean. I've enjoyed playing live when you are. I don't know if we're going to play live with electronic. It's something that we're, subject that we've not broached yet. Um, but I know we're going to start rehearsing a band to do some live television appearances um, very soon. And if that goes well, then hopefully we'll do some um, concerts. You know. Because um, but I do miss sometimes not being able to. Um, with New Order, we'd we'd write a song in rehearsal in the rehearsal room and then we'd get have we'd we'd have a gig, a concert, you know, in a couple of weeks and we'd take the song out and before we recorded it in the studio we'd play it in front of people and you get a kind of vibe back off people, um a kind of response to the song and you 
they go, oh, oh no, it's too slow, we need to speed it up. Or, and before you went in the studio, you kind of honed the song down so, so people responded to it well. So I did kind of miss that um, aspect, really, a little bit in electronic. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, what's interesting about... Also, with New Order, I mean, sometimes with New Order in the early days, not so much in the later days, but we'd, we'd write a backing track, you know, just some music, and I wouldn't have a vocal. Yeah. And we'd, I'd just make up the vocal on the night. Yes. And, eight, you know, perhaps 50% of it would be garbage, mm. including the lyrics, you know, I'd just make it up on the spur of the moment. Yeah. Like, these, these Like Us, the track These Like Us yeah. is a song that was done like that. you and uh, Johnny getting to the point that you did but also um, with Peter doing uh, Monica and, and you doing Electronic um, these, yeah. are, these are obviously things um, musically that you couldn't achieve um, within within New Order that you felt that it was better that if you could you know do something separate where you'd have complete license to do what you wanted without having you know the three other men. yeah yeah well, I felt very much in New Order at times that um, I wanted to, to keep the sound moving forward, yeah, change the sound and, and, and keep keep moving forward. And because we've been together for so long, um, I just felt that I had to work with other musicians to learn fresh influences, you know, and, and to get, you know, find other ways of making music. And go, oh, oh, God, yeah, you know, like, um, oh, oh, so you write songs that way, you write with the kind of lyrics first, you, you know, and you just kind of learn, learn fresh things, new input off, off different people, and to refresh my kind of musical database, so to speak. Um, now, the only way I could do that was to work with other musicians. And a couple of times, I didn't bring new musicians into New Order, but I brought a couple of producers into New Order, yes. uh, record producers, and I got a bit of aggravation from the rest of the band for doing that on occasion. You know, if it went wrong, it was all my fault. Wow. Um, so therefore, I thought, well, if I can't, learn fresh things, you know, if it, I, I, I don't want to go through that again. If, if I can't do it within New Order, I'll, I'll have to do it outside New Order, you know. And um, really, that's what happened. And also, um, that's why it's different, there's the two, two reasons. Like I said before, there's only two of us, yeah. so it's less of a compromise. And the other reason is, Johnny plays guitar completely different from the way I can play guitar. So you're going to end up, you know, with a different, you know, different chemistry, obviously. I mean, in fact, the first thing, the first idea behind Electronic was that the band was me and Johnny, and that and each time we did an album, we'd get a different third person in. Yes. So that the chemistry of the band was constantly evolving. So every time you made an album, you'd have a different chemistry. Yeah, because you'd have a different, the band would be different, the group would be different, um, which which works, but if you get someone that doesn't work too well, it can be a bit of a problem, you know, it can be a bit of a problem. You're always, you're taking a chance, and you know, yeah. that it's going to work out, because you don't know that with a producer or with... You know, if, if you get a different bass player, you don't know if it's going to work until it's too late. And when it's too late, you're in an awkward situation. So, mm -hmm. um, but, the, but I mean, you know, just for you as as a musician at this point, I mean, in your career, you do you feel that you can sort of basically do what you want, and it's okay either way? Um, you know, because you've you've built up that respect over the years in the industry and with your fans that. They will pretty embrace, pretty much embrace. I mean, almost everything that you do, short of it obviously being a load of a load of all rubbish, which it would never be. But I mean, you could basically take, yeah. take it any way you want, um, and they are sure to follow. 
No, uh, no, I don't think that's the case at all. In fact, on, on this album, on uh, Twisted Tenderness, um, me and Johnny wanted a different single than the record company. Um, the record company picked um, the song Vivid to be the single, and we wanted to do something more that was indicative of the changing direction of the album. We wanted to make it happen yes. to be a single which was more... Um, Less pop and more kind of a hardcore, hardcore um, progressive song. Yes. Um, what the record company want? Because they hold the, they hold the purse strings, you know. Um, I must have heard it on the radio over here in England the other day, and Vivid Eyes, and it sounded really good. It's and a great it sounded, radio song. Uh, yeah, that's a good Yeah, it's a really good radio song. So you know, maybe we were wrong, and maybe they were right. Mm. You know, well, it's been an absolute pleasure. I think I've taken up way too much of your time. Anyway, it's yeah. it's been a it's been a bit of a. I just have to let you know that I have been, and I'm sure you hear this a lot. I'm, I've been a fan since uh, right since uh, the beginning of Warsaw. So this has been a bit. Oh of, really? Well, yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's it's been an absolute treat. But congratulations um, again. Okay. And, um, Thank you very much. And nice to speak to you. Thanks very yeah. much. I'll see you. Cheers. Bye. Bye.